Oh, I know that this has been a comparatively easy, pleasant day. I knew it wouldn't last. Captain, my sister's missing. Your sister is missing, so what else is new? Will you listen to me? I think she's gone to David Gray. All right, so she'll be back. Have you got any other earth-shattering news for me, miss? Come on, you've got to help me. Robert and Luke are at the World Security Bureau in Washington, and I just don't know what else to do. They went to the World Security Bureau? What are they doing there? What for? I, I don't know, to get some more information about Gray. Oh, geez. That's it. That's probably why he knew they had gone out of town, so he grabbed her. Come on, don't you see? I'll tell you what I do see, young lady. I am the captain of police assigned to homicide. Do you know what the word homicide means? It means one person killing another person. It does not mean that I am the head of the Bureau of Missing Persons. Come on, you can still help me. Um, call me a bulletin, anything, please. I've just got the phone. All right, all right. The stomach is starting up, which means I will give up. All right, I will call the Missing Persons Bureau and tell them about your sister. Then will you leave me alone so I can go home and take it easy? Please. Yeah, Fred, Captain Ramsey here. Sorry to bother you, but I'd like to add a name to the MP sheet. Yeah, tell the black and whites and all the foot patrolmen to keep their eye open for a Miss Laura Templeton. Her description, she's about five feet... Fi what? You're kidding. She oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Do that for me, will you? Yeah, that's fine, fine. Thanks very much. Now, you tell me that you think your sister was abducted by David Gray, is that right? I I'm sure of it. It's a very, very funny abduction, because let me tell you something. Your sister is here right now reporting a stolen purse. She's what? And they're sending her up here to my office. May I make a suggestion to you, Miss Templeton? Please don't jump to any more wild conclusions. Kevin, don't you see... And if you do, please don't bring them to me. Please. Come in. Hi. Laura, I have been... Oh, listen, listen, it's okay. There, there wasn't even that much money, and I can report all the stolen credit cards. Yeah, but I just don't understand. Well, I do. It was about a purse snatching, am I correct? Yes. Two boys in the park. Can you believe it? I, and it happened so fast, I didn't even get a chance to see their faces. Well, now are you happy, Miss Templeton? You have the captain of homicide running after a purse snatcher. If I keep talking to you very long, I'll be out rounding up stray dogs. Lord, did you, did you see David Gray? You know, you usually meet him in the park. David Gray. Jackie, why on earth would I want to meet him in the park? I mean, he didn't come up to you or, or anything like that? He didn't force you to go anywhere? No, no, Jackie. I told you I had not seen him. Listen, why are you so excited? What's wrong? I, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I uh, take it I have your permission to go home now. I'm very sorry, Captain Ramsey. Come on, Laura, let's go. Captain, I just hope we can forget this. Oh, I can't tell you what a pleasure it's going to be for me to forget this. can't answer our questions or you won't. The questions aren't complicated, Mr. Masters. All we need to know is, is David Gray a part of this cult? And what is their ultimate goal? You of all people should know, Mr. Scorpio. Answers cannot be given to the general public. We are hardly members of the general public. Nor are you any longer an agent with this bureau. You have no clearance. I advise you both to stay out of this. Stay out of it? What are you talking about? We're right in the middle of it. We have exactly what David Gray and all the whole cult wants. The sword. Then I suggest you hand it over to me without further delay and let the Bureau handle this from here on in. <laughs> no way. I beg your pardon. I said no way. You'll get that sword, maybe. When you tell us, who is Gray? What is this cult? And if he's not the leader of it, who is? You are aware, I assume, that you are meddling in a very complicated and dangerous international situation. With all due respect, sir, as you must be well aware of, it's not a situation we haven't been in before. Then hand over the sword and get out of this one. Gentlemen, I am backed up. You will have to excuse me. Certainly. Creep. This is an A1 creep, man. What a jerk. He's new. Well, that's no excuse. You know, I've worked for them long enough to know a run around when I see one, but why? Look, I'm sorry, mate. I really thought my previous status as a former agent would have helped us here. Robert, it isn't you. It's Gray. One thing came through very loud and clear in here. This, this whole thing is a lot bigger than we thought. Agreed. So let's plan our next move. Well, I think Masters just planned it for us, didn't he? We're on our own, old boy. Just like, uh, always. Here we go.
David. Yes. The Magus. The Scrambler is operating. I understand. Time is running out, David. Therefore, consider this call a demand for immediate action. I repeat, immediate. I'll satisfy your demand, sir. After all, I have a bigger stake in this operation than anyone. I am glad you realize that, David. You know what you have to do. I do, sir. Then do it as quickly and effectively as possible. Yes, sir. And David. Sir. When you do it, be certain everybody is in place. Mr. Breeze, this is Masters at the World Security Bureau. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Masters. Thank you. I hope you will feel the same way when you hear my suggestion. Well, I'm always open to suggestions, sir. Uh, exactly what is it? I only hope I haven't reached you too late, sir. I've been trying to get through for an hour and a half. Well, I'm sorry. You said you have a suggestion? I do, sir. I believe the Prince is in this country to address the United Nations. Is that correct? It is. His appearance has been well publicized. I am aware of that, Mr. Ambassador. And inasmuch as the Prince is here, I urge that we go to Port Charles and close the Malkuth exhibit at the museum. Excuse me, did you say close it? I did. Prematurely, I realize, but it must be closed as soon as possible. Why? Frankly, I don't understand this at all. I'll answer that very plainly, sir. Not even the World Security Bureau can now guarantee security for the Malkuth National Treasures. This is extraordinary, Mr. Masters. And shocking. Now, may I ask why, sir? Because, sir, the cult is alive and active, and even as we speak, it is closing in on the museum in Port Charles. Well, this is some welcome home. wonder where they all are. Well, like most girls, they're probably out uh, looking after their parents. Mm -hmm. They want to never find them. Oh, Robert, look, I'm so glad you're back. I tried to call you in Washington, but I couldn't get to you. I, I, these people kept saying uh, they asked for my rank and my number, my serial number. Finally, I just gave up. I didn't know what else to do. Donald, what is wrong? It's Laura. She disappeared. And Jackie thinks David Gray has her, so she went barreling off to the police. Well, I looked in the park, and I looked I looked at, at Kelly Steiner, and I looked in the sports center. I looked every place I knew, and I couldn't find her any place. I'm so sorry. Take it easy. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Captain Ramsey, please. Luke Spencer calling. You know, I really don't mind saying this, but my feet are absolutely killing me. Oh. Captain, look, I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, think nothing of it, Luke. I've been trying to get away from here for hours. It just isn't my day. Yeah, Robert and I just uh, got back from a little uh, walk, and uh, we were told that Laura is missing. Well, you were told wrong, because she and her hysterical sister were here, but they're gone now. Well, then Laura's all right? Well, yeah, I'd say so. She came in here to report that her purse had been stolen. Uh, she wasn't too excited, so I didn't call out the National Guard. By the way, I understand you and your friend Scorpio were over to the WSB. Well... You're always so well informed, Captain. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we were at the World Security Bureau, talking to Masters himself. Yeah, well, go on. I'm very impressed. What did Masters have to say? David Gray is not the mild-mannered antique dealer that your investigations seem to have found. Well, you win some, you lose some. So, what is he? He's exactly what Robert and I suspected. He's part of a cult. You did say cult, didn't you? A cult of fanatics with origins going back to I don't know when. It's a whole international thing. They've got some kind of plot going on to... Uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, finish this, Captain Ramsey, because you wouldn't believe me anyway. Uh, Spencer, do me a favor. Don't call me. I'll call you. I couldn't have finished that sentence if I, if I tried. What sentence, darling? I'm going to start to tell him. See, that's the thing that bugs me about going to see Masters. We still don't know what the hell's going on. 